It's August 3rd of 2021. In an empty but very excited stadium in Tokyo, Japan, one of the greatest moments in Olympic history would take place. In the men's 400-meter hurdles, the clash between Rye Benjamin of the United States and Karsten Vorholm from Norway was felt by millions around the world as Karsten Vorholm absolutely demolished the previous world record by 0.76 seconds with a clocking of 45.94 seconds. This was a truly majestic performance, and it broke the world record by a margin that hadn't been matched since the beginning of electronic timing. Heading into this event, there were talks of a potential world record run. However, there was truly nobody that thought that a sub 46 second time would actually go down. With a blistering opening pace and the strength to match, Vorholm outperformed a very fast Rye Benjamin in this event, whose time of 46.17 still stands as the second fastest performance of all time. With a world record like this, the track and field audience at large had just witnessed one of the greatest moments in Olympic history in track and field. And even though Karsten Vorholm had reached the absolute zenith of Olympic immortality, he had nearly the exact opposite experience in 2022. In the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon, Vorholm was again slated as one of the primary candidates to win a medal. However, there was a big complication with this one appearance, as for much of 2022, Vorholm was battling injury for much of the season, but despite this untimely shortcoming, he made a real attempt to go for the gold medal, again taking the pace red hot and not relenting in the slightest. However, this early, rapid tempo, combined with his shorter than normal preparation, resulted in a pretty massive slowdown over the final 100 meters, and unfortunately, in this final, he was only able to finish 7th in 48.42 seconds, almost 2.5 seconds slower than his world record run in Tokyo, Japan. Now up front winning this race with a new championship record performance was Alison Dos Santos of Brazil in 46.29, and finishing in 2nd was Rai Benjamin in 46.89, and Trevor Bassett finished in 3rd in 47.39. Despite holding an undefeated record in the men's 400 hurdles since 2018, Vorholm was pushed very far into the back over the closing stages of this world final. And even though he did showcase solid improvements for the remainder of 2022, including a European Championship and a season finale race in 47.24, the days of approaching the world record and running well under 47 seconds appear to be behind him. Well, that was before his 2023 season opener, because what he just did in this year's Diamond League meeting in Oslo, Norway, was just Viking-like. For this race, Vorholm was again making his season debut, which always carries with it great pressure, but only adding to this was the fact that he was running on his home soil in Norway. Indeed, this was a very big test for the current world record holder, and if I'm being honest, I thought that he would probably run closer to 48 seconds for this race, if not slightly under 48 seconds. However, despite this expectation, Karsten Vorholm had very, very different plans. Out of the blocks, Vorholm again made a huge push to the front as he pretty much gapped everyone else in the field by the 200 meter mark. Through this halfway point, there was an argument to be made that he went out way too fast, just like last year in the World Finals. And honestly, it did seem like a real possibility that he could suffer the consequences over the final 100 meters. However, with unstoppable strength, he marched away from everyone else in the field here. And he didn't just take the victory here, he actually broke the Diamond League record with a time of 46.52 seconds, which makes this single performance the fastest performance ever that didn't take place in a World Championship Final or the Olympic Games. To run a time of 46.52 for his season opener after coming off a very complicated season like last year speaks volumes about his abilities to continue pressing forward regardless of the circumstance. This time also pulled in a total World Athletics score of 1,309, which is a very rare number to reach in any athletics event. To give you some context as to just how fast this actually is, this World Athletics score is the equivalent to running a marathon in 2 hours, 1 minute, and 19 seconds. It's the equivalent to a 100 meter time of 9.70, and it's also the equivalent of running a 1500 meter race in 325.57. 
My point is that this performance was absolutely historic. And even though this point system isn't perfect, in terms of comparing one event to the next, you can get an idea at just how rare of a showing this performance was for his season opener. 2023 is looking pretty crazy in many different events, and now only adding to this year's excitement is the men's 400 meter hurdles. And with this performance now behind him, he is clearly one of the favorites for the world championship title this year. So the question now is can anyone challenge Karsten Vorholm, the world record holder and Viking that everyone fears in the 400 meter hurdles? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.